Good morning, Searcy High School. Today is Friday, February 24th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Noah Summerland. And I'm Olivia Langston. On today's show, we'll be having Donovan with a story about some new and exciting classes that are going to be offered next fall. Tanner Thomas with a story over classic cars, Brendan Adams with weather, and Kent Zerain with your latest Searcy Sports. Let's get started. <laughs> The application for clinical internship is now available in the Guidance Center. 11th grade students must have a cumulative 3.0 GPA to apply. Deadline to return application materials to the Guidance Center is March. The Searcy High School Prom Closet will be holding its shopping days on March 7th, 9th, and 28th. You can visit from 3.15 to 5 p.m. on the third floor of the PAC. They have a large selection of dresses, shoes, purses, and jewelry. They also have a small selection of men's suits and ties. On the same day, you can sign up for hair and makeup services. Applications for Harding University's Pharmacy Summer Camp are available in the Guidance Center. The camp is on June 18th to the 23rd. There is a scholarship for any Arkansas senior who has been affected by cancer. You can pick up an application in the Guidance Center. Seniors, if you are attending ASUBB this fall, please come by the Guidance Center for a scholarship application from the textbooks corner. You must be enrolled at the BB campus and attending full-time to be considered. Deadline is April 29th, 2017. Now we have Donovan to tell us about some exciting curriculum changes coming next fall. Have you expressed an interest in taking a business class? Now you can. Starting next year, SHS will be adding four new classes to its ongoing curriculum. I sat down with Ms. Acreage and Ms. Mosley to expose these new courses. One of the new classes is Advanced Database and Advanced Spreadsheet. A second class is Insurance and Risk Management. A, a third a new class is Office Management. And our uh, fourth class is Social Media and Communication. These courses will help students have a basis after graduation. These courses and programs of study are going to help students to gain employment after graduation if they're not going to college. These programs of studies are based on the employment needs that we've studied that will be needed in our area. Taking these classes will earn you a certificate of completion that can carry over to the workforce. Well, these courses are part of a program of study. A program of study is made up of three classes that once a student completes the core class plus those two other courses, they're a completer. And upon graduation, they'll receive a certificate as being a completer in a concentrated area of study and business. By taking CBA or TDA, you can earn certification for free. The foundation course, CBA or TDA, is a required course for all of our programs of study, and we currently have Microsoft certification in those classes. So a student taking the class has the opportunity to gain certification in Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. And these are industry recognized certifications at no cost to the student through Microsoft. How do you sign up for these courses you may ask? It's downright simple. When the counselors come around to the English classes this year, there'll be a brochure that we've provided that will list all of our programs of study. That will include the administrative services, the finance, the insurance, and the social media and communications, and the three courses that are required for each. When the guidance counselor comes around, be sure to take a look. Ms. Acreage and Ms. Mosley hope to see their classes full. I'm Donovan Marino. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Donovan. Those classes are going to be great new additions. If you're looking for a scholarship opportunity, look no further. Local scholarships are being posted on the Guidance Center website. Congratulations to the SHS wrestling team and our three state champions, Brad Brown, Devin King, and Kayla Freeman. Our team finished third in the 6A-7A division and was the highest ranked 6A team. Coach Jerry Evans was named Coach of the Year. Current seniors who are going to be attending UCA in the fall can sign up for classes starting now. You can find out more information in the Guidance Center. Applications for the First Electric Trust Scholarship are now available for their members. You can find the application at www.firstelectric.coop slash community slash scholarships. The 2017 Bowling Banquet will be held Monday the 27th. Now let's send it over to Brendan Adams with today's local forecast. Hello, Stacey Osco. I'm Brendan Adams. A shout out to Danny for letting me say this, but Fridays are indeed awesome. Let's get started. Today you have a high of 73. Partially cloudy, ran at 10% and winds going southwest at 70 miles per hour. Humidity at 56% and your sun rose at 6.42 a.m. On to tonight. 
tonight. You have a low of 33, clear skies, ran at 0%, winds going northwest 10 miles per hour, humidity at 52%, and your sun will set at 5.58 p.m. onto the almanac. Your average high is 56, average low is 33, your monthly average of precipitation is 3.82 inches, and your month to date is 1.21 inches. On to the five cast. Saturday, you'll have a high of 53, low of 29, 0% chance of rain. Sunday, we'll have a high of 60, low of 52, 20% chance of rain. Monday, PM showers, high of 64, low of 52, 6% chance of rain. Tuesday, showers, high of 74, low of 59, 4% chance of rain. Wednesday will be mostly sunny, high of 66, low of 36, terms of chance of rain. So I thought the week it should be pretty warm, but um, a couple days we have a lot of rain. I hope that rain stays away. I'm kind of sick and tired of the rain. Yeah. I honestly like the rain. But let's see what we're having for lunch. Today for lunch we'll be having barbecue chicken drumsticks or tangerine chicken, macaroni and cheese, Asian rice, celery sticks, baked sweet potato with margarine, cinnamon and brown sugar, roll, pineapple chunks, and milk. Now let's send things over to Tanner Thomas to tell us about some students in our school who have classic cars. Most people prefer newer vehicles, but these two kids would rather have a classic model. The model of a car is very important to some people. These two students' vehicles, however, are far from similar. Uh, it's a 1966 Beetle. Um, my truck is a 1986 uh, Chevy Silverado. With older models means more work for them to run. These two are both willing to put in the work. I have not refurbished it. For the most part, everything about my truck is the original. Uh, I got it. It was painted, and I pretty much did everything else. I did the interior, suspension, and stuff like that. Um, it was my great-grandpa's truck, which he passed down to my great-uncle, and when my great-uncle passed, he passed it to me. Some people would like a new car, while these two have a different aspect. I would like to keep and refurbish this one. Um, it's a little pricey, but you know, it looked good. Older cars tend to have more meaning to their owners. These two fall into that category. Um, what's special about it is just because that it does have a lot of family history behind it. You know, my my great grandpa had it before I did, so you know, it's a little uh, family momentum from him. Having an older vehicle will make someone stand out in the crowd. These two are more than willing to be in the spotlight. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Tanner. That was a great story. Now let's catch all the action playing out in the world of Cersei Sports with Kent. Howdy, Cersei High School. I'm Kent Zerang here to bring you your sports coverage today. We briefly mentioned yesterday morning of our Cersei High School wrestling team and their great performance at the state tournament this past weekend. We sat down with one of our state champions, Brad Brown, to gather what the victory was really like. It feels good because I'm the first sophomore and it took me a little time to know that I did it because I, I still couldn't believe it. it took like two days the whole weekend and we had three and that's the first time we've ever had three and that's in third place is the highest we've ever had as a team. Pretty much practice hard, harder than everybody else in the state and focus and we got our bodies and minds right. But we wrestled hard every day and we've progressed throughout the years and we couldn't have done it as a team without anybody, without the whole team there. First I want to shout out Ryan Tillery and Demacio Witter who was the second freshman to place in the state, Cole Fitzpatrick who got third All-State and was not a returning state placer, and Devin King and Caleb Freeman who won state alongside me and the rest of the team because we couldn't have done it as a team without each and every single person. Congratulations to all of our wrestlers who placed at the state tournament on a season well done. Up next on the calendar, the Cersei High School Lady Lion varsity team is playing North Little Rock Hall at home tomorrow at 1 p.m. to decide how they will be seated for the state tournament. They will travel to Lake Hamilton on March 1st for the first round of playoffs. Be sure to congratulate those ladies and cheer them on as they represent SHS. Also, our Cersei High School soccer team is playing Tuesday against Riverview High School at home. The varsity girls will be playing the Raiders at 5 p.m. and the varsity guys will be playing the Raiders at 7 p.m. Be sure to come out and support our soccer teams as they begin their season. In national sports, this past weekend was the NBA All-Star Dunk Contest. Three-point contest, skills challenge, and the All-Star game. The Western Conference All-Stars took the win only 10 points ahead of the Eastern Conference, 192 to 182. Anthony Davis scored 52 points in the game, claiming the title of Most Valuable Player. 
also with outstanding performances by Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. Well, that wraps up things for your sports coverage today. Thank you for tuning in on this awesome Friday. I'm Kent Zarang, and let's sing things back to Olivia and our darling Noah at the news desk. Thank you, Kent. That's all we have for today's show. I'm Olivia Langston. And I'm Noah Summerland. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Cersei High Line TV. If you miss an episode, you can always catch up on CerseiLionPress.com by clicking the Watch Us icon to our website. We'll see you on the next episode of Line TV. Have an amazing weekend, Cersei.